and welcome back to We Are Unique. Don't forget, we're talking about all disabilities on the show uh, throughout the series. If you do want to come on the show, please do email the studio at We Are Unique, and you could be sitting where Grace is sitting right with me now. Thank you for joining me, Grace, again. And we're going back now and talking more a little bit more about Alfie Heating. Okay. And... Uh, what you enjoy about health eating. So it's all about losing weight, yes. exercising, and uh, apparently I've been told that you know a lot about calories. Yes, I do. Um, going back when I was thinking about health eating with emotions and moods, this is where my counselling job goes in, where I'm very good with being helpful, being a counsellor, and is involved with emotions and healthy eating. With myself, I used to um, do a lot of emotional eating. When I was involved with cakes and biscuits and things like that, mm -hmm. and that I used to do, but now I don't do that no more. Um, I've become to be more a better person. But people on the world ride like this for now. I think it's a clear message for them that you don't have to do emotional eating. What I would know of that the more calories you eat, the more you're going to be putting on weight and you're being a bad person and you don't feel anything about yourself. But if you get your emotion controlled enough, it will help you to express who you are and how do you feel, then people like myself or any other people are helping to get there. Since I live in a private care home in Stone, that I live with five residents, all in disabilities, that we all live, they all So do they, together. Have, do they have all different types of disabilities? Yes. And what, what types of disabilities um, do they we have? We do have, like, called autism. Yeah. And people got um, disabilities and autism, Down syndrome and other syndromes that I can't remember of, but they're all mm. different mix. And do you get on with everybody? Yes, I do. I always get on. Um, I'm not saying any people's names, but I know about different businesses that I'm that I'm in at the moment. So I know about other businesses that I'm not going to say because of quite confidentiality wise. Mm -hmm. But um, this is where I always get in touch with people. But I always try to help them with emotions. I can't um, deal with my own emotions. That's why I've got someone who's a close friend to mine, mm -hmm. who is my dad's partner. She's the only one who always helps with my emotions. But in the meantime, I always help other people's emotions. In my old past jobs, um, I used to work um, in a charity shop in Stone, I okay. used to work at the council in Stafford, but this is a clear message that I always help people going along. Mm -hmm. I always have an angel with me, and I always send out candles to represent of the angels of myself, that I know I always have a special gift and things. But what I know about healthy eating that it will change on how you are, change how you feel, and the more you eat less calories and the more exercise you do, it will help you to maintain, to lose our weight, but also control your emotions as well as that's all, all in main parts of cyclical health and emotional health. It will help massively to other people. Okay, so let's thank you for that, Grace. So let's talk a little bit about your brothers and sisters. Yes, so. I got one sister who is Esther. She worked at the council, but she worked at the British Council in Manchester. 
as Rowdy lives in Manchester, as well, it's got a whose house um, at the moment. Um, I think she's in her 30s, so she's, I think, going to be coming to be 30, but I think she's already in 30. So you've got one older sister? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. um, I do have one brother as well called Patrick. Mm -hmm. I think he's like 25 years of age. I think I describe him as a assertive, influence person, but he's, at the end of the day, he's my brother. Um, he's a chef, so he works through an agency to go around in countries doing a lot of cooking and things. Mm -hmm. That's how I got my cooking from when I was cooking um, with my brother, and that's how I got my business coming um, from that sort of thing. But that's what my brother does. Um, as part from being a chef and working in different countries, um, he doesn't have any another job, but that's what he does. He used to live um, somewhere. Um, he used to live with my mum, but now uh, he cleans houses. He used to live in a flat of his own, mm -hmm. but now he started living back with my dad in Barlaston, where that's my other job when I say being a PA, um, which I'm still doing at the moment. My main office that I have is one that I got at Home in Stone, but also in Boriston as well. But that's why um, with my sister and brother, I do try hard by getting along with them. Sometimes we always have these falling out things, but at the end of the day, they are my sister and my brother, and I always try hard by getting along with them. Um, in order, I'm the shortest one, so I'm always in the middle. Yeah. So, um, my sister and my brother are the two people who is the youngest, and I'm the only one who's in the middle who's the oldest. You're the, you're the middle one. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, uh, you've been on TV before, haven't you, Grace? Yes. You've been I, on the Channel 4 TV that's show, right, tell yes. us about that. No, previously on Channel 4, when they do different TV programmes like Healthy Eating and other channels. My three big channels on Channel 4 that I like watching Marvel Agents of Seals in Marvel Wise and, and The 100 mm -hmm. and Offense and all those sort of things that I always like to What's in one of my hobbies? Well, you were in a show called No Offence, weren't you? That's right, yes. Tell us a little bit, No um, Offence. In a program called A uh, Police Affairgation and um, Personal Offence, um, I got the leading role of emotions, but through face expressions. So I didn't do much of speaking. They want me to do facial expressions. Um, of it to show the emotions through face expressions, how would you feel about it? And I'm the only one who's very good with the emotions that it comes across to that with TV. So when I first heard of it, I was sort of being really excited. I was nervous, but I was really excited that I heard, but I please have got my own dressing room table, dressing rooms, like being a boss person, like I want to make uh, a music video about, but I like having my own room and I like doing um, doing emotions through face expressions. Do you think that I'm really good at it? And since then with this TV program in a police uh, advocation, they're looking for someone like myself who want to express with body language, with facial expressions, with emotions 
through that TV series. And I did it all the way through. And I was really, really good at it. Brilliant. One, um, my sister and one of my parents w was the, the actors. It's what they call the actor people. Um, they were in, and they really pleased me. They were mm. great, proud of who I am. And so... So that's really good and really positive that you've been an extra in a, in a TV programme called um, No yeah, Offence. And that, 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 that I, was last year. That's right. I wasn't the actor. I was the main Oh, you were the, main, you were the main guest, the main, the main the lead, that's the lead right. actress. But only my sister and one of my parents were the actors. Oh, they were the extras. You, you were the lead, you were the lead starring role. That's right. That's wonderful. Tell me a little bit about sign language. Well, sign language, um, this is where in one of my other old schools, Walton Hall, um, and that's the special school you went to? That's the special school, yes. Yeah. And that's linked to the Clifford Project in Stone, that's quite close by where I live. And they have both linked in performing arts. And in that sort of thing, they do a lot of um, sign language. Now, I, I, my sister did sign language and she taught sign language because she works with people with learning disabilities. Yes. Now, I'm being ignorant here because I don't know. I know about sign language, but I don't know how to sign. So, could you sign for me something now? Of course. Could you say, "My name is Grace and I'm 27 yeah. years old." Not bad. And I like cooking. Yeah. Um, so, for example, is this is baby. Um, my name is Grace. I'm 27 years of AIDS. Um, this is name. This is baby. One of the songs, Tingle Bells, Tingle Bells, Wising on a Sleigh. Um, I will describe in letters performing arts. Um, this is baby. Um, and other things I could sign. Um, as samples, I can sign people's names. So, like for example, K A V I N. Um, and well, that's, that's great. You know, I've got so much to learn. You, you know, you, you've learnt me so much today, Grace. It's been such a pleasure. Yes. We could talk all day, but it's, we've only got a short time. And it's been such a pleasure to have you on my show today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and next on We Are Unique, just after the short break, I'll be talking to Gracie's mum, Pat, and she'll be giving more insight into Down syndrome. So just join me after this short interval. Music